Hi and welcome to an airbrushing tutorial that I'm going to do for you today. I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to do a really pretty kind of a summery sun sunscape landscape and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this combination of colors. So this will be on my blog and I'll let you know all the numbers on my blog. Um, but let's get started with airbrushing. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lightest shade first and I'm going to try not to talk when my compressor is running because that's a little bit louder so it might be hard for you to hear. But I insert the, the marker into the grip and start at the top because that's going to be my lightest area. And just work about three quarters of the way down. And go back if you think you've missed any lighter spots. Okay, that should be enough for that marker. And then take your next darkest shade and kind of start in from the more of the middle. work a little lower. And then I'm going to take my brightest orange and from here I'm going to work from the bottom. So I'm going to kind of hold my paper at the top a bit and you can see it's a much brighter. So I'm going to be a little bit lighter on the trigger. and be very light with, with your dark color because that sprays on really quick, especially if your markers are nice and juicy like these ones are. And then to my red, add a little bit of red at the bottom. Now I'll go back with my lightest marker and touch up the top half and kind of blend that line a little bit where you see such a, a line between the dark and the, and the light. So work my way down. Okay. Now as you can see the whole thing is quite vibrant looking so if you want to mute it or dull it down a little bit that's where your warm and your cool grays come in and because I'm using an orange or kind of a red um, I'm going to use the warm gray palette so I put warm two in here and just kind of kind of give an all over spray. What that does is just kind of mutes that color. And then for a little bit of shadowing accent, I'm going to take my warm four and from the bottom do a little bit at the very bottom just to kind of anchor the bottom. All right. Now there's a background, but what do you do with that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp more silhouette kind of images in here. So I'm going to take my London Fog color um, by Memento and ink up. This is um, from the Silhouette Blooms set by Kim Hughes and just going to Now with silhouette stamping, you know that whatever I stamp first here is going to be my darkest color which will be closest to me. So I'm going to stamp the darkest a little closer and then I'm going to do my second stamp 
which is going to be a little lighter. You can see how a little bit lighter it's further away. I'm going to do that once more. Stamp that one because it's closer to me and then stamp again and you can just see kind of the faint. Now if you want one more step in color then I'm going to take my graphite black brilliance and just ink up the top of this again and this is going to be my closest image so it's going to be right near to the bottom here. So you get that graduation of color even in your silhouette. Now I'm going to take these lovely tree swallows. This is all the stamps are by Cornish Heritage Farms and I'm going to ink this one up. And I'm going to stamp them right across the middle. So there you have it. You have your background of flowers and your beautiful airbrush sky and your birds in there as your silhouettes. So I'm going to put together a card and stick it on my blog, but thanks for watching.